I'm Martha Ladley, and I'm a professor at OCAT University. My specialization is data-driven design, data visualization, and interaction design. I'm working with Dr. Gerald Penn at the University of Toronto, and he's a computer scientist. I'm essentially an artist and a designer. So are my students. And his students are computer scientists. The natural language processing technologies that he's bringing to the table are invaluable. They are what is allowing us to create an innovation in video search. What I'm bringing, I think, is a long history with um, multimedia, new media, and also um, interaction design. My colleague Gerald Penn and I have been given the opportunity to take 24 years of video data. This data was provided to us by the CBC and Carleton University Libraries. And it's literally 24 years of 24 hours of CBC News World video. It's all time coded so that we are very accurately able to go in and identify a date and a time. We had a lot of brainstorming sessions with each other, with our students, our researchers, to try to figure out what might provide the best opening for this data. The constraints of the data is that it comes from all sorts of different eras, some of which were digital, some of which weren't. So we were literally given access to all of it, and some, some of it actually needed to be handled very carefully because it's old and it also needed to be digitized before we could use it. We've come up with an innovative way of giving our users access to the data, and that's through a gestural interface. It seemed to us that the best thing to do would be to create an on-this-day experience. In other words, people would be able to access the data literally by choosing a day that they wanted to know more about and focus on those days and everything that happened in terms of the news stories that went on in that particular day. That could include everything from sports to current events, world affairs, politics, arts, and uh, advertising. We decided really what we wanted to do was present them all as a sort of very large screen experience with multiple screens. So we created an installation with 24 screens kind of loosely representing the 24 hours, but in fact giving subject matter areas to people that they could actually view as a, as a large screen, and then decide that one of them might be particularly interesting to them, so they actually want to pull that screen up, see it larger, and actually focus on that particular subject matter area. My colleague Gerald Penn in his lab is using natural language processing to automate and create transcripts of the videos and then to actually identify keywords and when you choose a keyword for that the video to jump exactly there. For this project our, our main private sector partnership is in fact with Gesture Tech. So Gesture Tech have got some really great technology. What they are looking at is how we can through Gesture simply interact with multiple screens bring data forward, push data to the back, bring screens forward, enlarge them if we like. So the interface design and the idea to create a sort of a holodeck, as it were, a time machine, was one that we came to uh, with our two groups together in a large brainstorming session. How that gestural interface would work was one that my students and I came up with, uh, with our industry partner, Gesture Tech with um, natural language processing and with an automated process that Gerald and his team are working on, it does allow us to get a transcript for everything and then to identify keywords and phrases for everything. So we have to sit down as a group of people and literally watch, listen to, and in some cases translate and identify keywords that are sensible and will and have meaning. So we've come up with lots of collaborative techniques about how to work on this big data set together with our computer science colleagues, um, how to combine human interaction with computer interaction. So it really is kind of a big human computer inter interaction design project um, too. Our methods of working are quite new. Um, our ways of of taking an enormous data set and analyzing what its possibilities are, are quite new. And um, I think that we've got, a, I, th I think we've still got a lot of work to do.